Hey y'all, it's your favorite Q the Raider here with another how-to video. Y'all read the title already. Y'all know what we about to do, so let's just go ahead and get started. guys see here I took my clients previous braids out and I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the detangle you want to detangle your clients hair before you shampoo it or else it's gonna get very 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 tangling I braid my clients hair with moisturizer so if it's not full of buildup you could just go ahead and detangle it in its dry state if your client do has buildup or sticky products you want to apply some type of water or some type of spray to loosen up those products so um, here's the detangle if your client's hair is on the thicker side, you want to take smaller sections and then we always want to detangle from the ends up to the root. So that's what I'm going to continue to do. And here y'all can see, we have a little bit of shedding here. He had his previous braids in for about three weeks. So if you see hair coming out like this, do not be afraid. This is perfectly normal. Now that we're all done with the detangle, we're gonna go ahead and head to the shampoo bowl. Welcome back from the shampoo bowl. So what I'm gonna do is blow dry his hair in sections. This is what you wanna do when your client has a bunch of hair. I'm trying to tell you guys, working in sections with thick hair will save you a lot of time. So I'll recommend using a blow dryer with a comb attachment for the best results. Now that the blow dry is complete, let's get to the products. I'm gonna expose my three lucky products. Everyone wants to know what products I use. So first up we have our nice, sleek shine and jam. This gets your parts pretty straight. And then next on the list we have Double Buttercream by As I Am. This adds moisture to your client's twist. And then the most famous, we have Nairobi foam, and this is gonna get your twist nice and fluffy. Hair tools you're gonna need, you're just going to need clamps and a parting comb, so easy. The very first step you wanna do is part your client's hair down the middle. So in order to do that, you want to find out the center of their nose. This is where your parting comb is gonna come into handy, and your rat tail, boom, that's the center of his nose, and you're just gonna part backwards this way like so. So boom, that was so easy. Second, you want to take your jam and you're going to trace the part. And this is how I get my parts very, very clean. Every time I part with the comb, I come behind with product. This is about how much I put on there. Trace it to the back. You want to hit every piece of the part. Last step of the parting, now we're going to trace over this part. Okay, now I'm just going to push the hair to one side. You wanna do this so that a lot of flyaways will not be on your part. So I'm gonna push the right side to the right and I'm gonna push the left side to the left. 
push, push, push. Again, this is just combing the hair out the way so that it does not fly away, so it's not travel to, from one side to the other. So basically, your hair got to pick a side. Once that part is complete, so I usually work in front of a mirror, so I would suggest that to my viewers. If you can or, or are able to, work in front of a mirror so you can see what's going on. So since I don't have that today and I have the camera instead, I'm going to walk in front of my client to double check if the part is down the middle. Looks great to me. Next step to parting, we're going to take a line from the top of this part and we're going to part straight down to the ear. Now stay with me. Now you'll see why I'm about to do this in one second. We're going to do this on both sides. Okay, so now, now we have four sections to work into. The reason why you want to do this um, is to make sure that you get a straight line going back and forth. My client has super thick hair, so I like to work in sections to make everything as even as possible. Now you can skip this step if you're a pro and just have three sections, one, two, and three, but this is for beginners who struggle with getting a straight line. So here we go. My first steps to this service is starting my row. So I'm just going to go ahead and start from this middle part here. I'm going to go from the middle to the right and then from the middle to the left. So here we have the first row. This row will get thicker or thinner according to how big or small your client want their twist. So we're going to do maybe like a medium size here. So I just eye this row. This is about how thick it is. I say, what is that? Two fingers wide. It's about two fingers wide in, in width. And then I'm just going to make sure this part is straight before I start the process. What do we do to get crispy parts? We line the part with product. Okay, once we've lined the part with the product, we're going to make the hair pick a size. So I'm going to make the bottom hair go down and the top hair go up. I like to comb and press down with the tail, comb and press down with the tail. Now, once you have the hair going in different directions, you can really double check to make sure your part is straight. So what I'm going to do is just turn him left to right to see if the part is straight. One thing you want to do is kind of keep your clamps a little loose on the root so it's not pulling it and giving you the, giving you the illusion that the part is going another way. OK, my clamps are a little bit loose and it still appears like it's not as straight as it can be. So I'm just going to clean it up. You can just use either end of the comb that's more comfortable for you. So you can clean it up with the parting tip or you can clean it up with the tail. I like to use the parting tip. Okay, looks perfect. From this point, you want to go ahead and section off your twist. So what I'm going to do is just eye how many I want. Since this is going to be like a medium size, I do this style so much, I pretty much know where I'm going to put the boxes. So I'm just going to start a part maybe about this is finger length wide. So 
So we have six parts. I'm going to count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sections. Next step. I like to start in the middle. So uh, you can use your comb or your clamp to get the section out the way so you can work on one at a time. And a little to more product goes a long way. So I'm just going to place this on my client's head because it's easier access really quick. But I do not do this on a regular day basis. What we're going to do is use our product on a root. This is going to keep the root nice and slick. So I'm going to go ahead and tap into my product. As you guys can see, less is more. You want to hit it on the top, the side, the bottom and the other side. Once you've got that done, you want to comb it through. But you're not just only combing. You're combing and pressing, combing, press, combing, press, combing and press. This just makes sure that the hair goes sleek and it doesn't curl. And you want to take this part with some tension. This one little section here, we're going to split it in three even sections. So one section is going to go into three other sections. So I'm going to count it out. One, two, three. One section. One section is now in three sections. And all you're going to do is braid it. So if you're an underhanded braider, you're going to go under. If you're an overhanded braider, you're going to go over. So I'm going to go under. One, two, three. Make sure you get the flyaways out the way. Four. Five. Six. Seven. More flyaways. Eight. Nine. Ten. I'm going to do eleven and twelve. So the reason why I'm braiding down 12 times is because when I release this, it's probably going to unravel a little bit, but I want to keep this secure. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the next section, but this time overhand. Take our products each side, top, right, under, left. Less is more. And we're going to comb and press, comb, press. Comb, press, comb, press, comb, press. Three even sections. One, one second. Got to get the flyaways. Okay, I'm going to do this one overhanded. You're going to have one, two, three sections. And here is an example for the overhanded people. Over, over, over. Twelve times. So here we have the first two sections braided on the root. So what I'm about to do is go ahead and do the whole head in the braided sections. So here I am on the third section and we're coming up on the side here. So this is where the four sections come into play. So we're on the third row and this is how you make sure you get a straight line. Once you've parted this row, you're going to pick up here where this section is. This kind of just helps guide you into a straight line. Again, if you're advanced, you can just swoop from the middle. You can part from the middle all the way to the end but some people aren't able to do that so an easier way to make sure the rows are going straight is to do this extra section in the front and just go straight across 
and there you have your straight section. As you can see, when I'm going up Perot, I'm giving a brick layer effect. In order to do that, you're just gonna take the middle of the previous section and you're going to part a line in the middle, like so. Gonna do it one more time. Find the previous section, part a line down the middle. This is just to make sure that the twists fall in between the one before to give it the full look. And I'm gonna keep on going across this row. Right, now that we're at the top of the head, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the last two rows. These are the last two. So when you part straight back, you're going to come around in a curve. And that'll complete one side. And you wanna repeat the same thing on the other side. I'm going to connect the two lines. We're gonna start here. And I'm gonna curve in a U shape. Curve in a U shape. And then I'm going to part straight forward. On this part, you can do whichever works best for you. You can start from the middle and go out, or you can start out and connect to the middle. As long as it's a U shape, then you should be fine. And there you have it. You're going to continue to do your vertical parts to section off the row. The parting is all done. And it's about to get real juicy, but one final step before we get to twisting. This is where you're gonna take your moisturizer. We're just gonna scoop a good amount into our hands. We're gonna rub it like lotion. Rub, rub, rub. You should look like this. And then we're going to scrunch it into the hair, like so. Now that your moisturizer has been applied, I like to work one side at a time, like go left, right, left, right. So I'm going to section this off in half. Do, 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 do. We have this and I'm gonna do one twist at a time, one row at a time. Here's where the foam come in at Nairobi foam. We're going to pump one, two. Stay close. I like to start from the middle and work my way out. I don't know why, but you can start on either twist that you would like. Hold down for me. And then you're going to put twists. I mean, you're going to put foam on your twisting fingers. I use all four of these. You're going to take one section, split it in half, rub the foam down. And you're gonna twist to the right. Okay, twist. Say all that one more time. Twist. So you're gonna take 
You're gonna take, what I say? Oh. Okay, let me do the next one. You're gonna twist, go, twist, 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 all the way until you get to the bottom. Now, it gets a little dry towards the bottom, so you're gonna take the additional foam and wipe it. Twist, twist, twist. When it gets dry, take the additional foam and wipe it. And then you wanna add a little bit more to really saturate the ends. This is gonna help it curl up. Twist till you can't twist anymore and you're going to give the bottom a finger coil. And then you drop it. So what this is gonna do is gonna slowly puff up and become a juicy twist. So I'm gonna do one more for you guys. We're gonna take our two pumps in our bean, rub it over your twisting fingers, split the three strand into two strands, wipe the foam down, and you're going to twist, twist, twist. Twist, 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 twist. twist. Just keep twisting. Just keep twisting, just keep twisting, twisting, twisting. What do we do? We twist, twist, twist. So this one, I had enough mousse to get all the way to the bottom, but it doesn't hurt to just saturate a little bit more. And you're gonna finger coil and you're gonna drop. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty because as y'all can see, this is how you will look while you're doing this process. So I'm about to go ahead and finish the rest of the head. completed look hopefully you guys were able to follow along and you too can have your client looking like this rate this style in the comment section down below one through ten what do you guys give it thank you all for watching if you made it this far go ahead and like subscribe and share this video comment down in the section below if you learned anything new from my tips see you guys next video